in in this video we look at advanced settings and customizations for windows and doors so this is for us to be able to customize the 3d appearance of these uh, architectural fenestrations so if you take a look at the 3d window you are going to see uh, our, 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 our model in 3d and this is how the doors and the windows look so we want to change this appearance and that is affected by doing some custom settings i'll uh, go to design and architectural tools i'll activate the door tool then control a on my keyboard to select all doors open the settings dialog for the door and under uh, inch door inched doors we have door 25 this as the one that is selected and we want to make some customizations to this door so under preview and positioning the width is 900 millimeters which is okay and the height is 2.1 meters that's 2100 millimeters fill to story height as 100 millimeters reveal to wall surface set as as zero so that's okay under uh, inched door settings we have door settings and opening which gives us access to the various customizations that we can make in terms of nominal sizes and tolerance door settings and opening in terms of things like frame and leaf natural ventilation door leaf type opening type and angle wall opening fixtures and fittings and floor plan section appearances so as at now i want us to look at the door leaf so if i click on this where they've indicated no grid if i click on this arrow like that that's going to give me all these options rather these uh, various types of door leaves that i can choose to have for my project so for our project let's say we prefer to have style 34 as the door leaf opening type is side hang as set and the frame as a simple ribbit and that handle here it is indicated as none and us to click on that and then set handle number let's say 10 um let's use handle, handle 6 for the wall for 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 the doors floor plan and section settings in terms of floor plan display simple and outline and cut surfaces i want to leave all those settings as they are and then i'll click on ok you will see those changes have been effected so let's take a look in the 3d and see how the windows or, or how the doors appear like so in terms of 3d you see that's how now our door looks like so let's get back to the ground floor and now right now we want to customize the windows so i'll start with uh, windows in the bedrooms let's say master bedroom this one that and these other two so select them go to the settings dialog and uh, window types here i want to choose triple window with side transforms 25 so this one so this one i'll click to select it then i'll change let's say you have the windows 2000 height as 1500 Let, let's change this height to 1300 uh, we are supposed to be having 13 uh, that is the height plus seal to story height should add up to 2100 which means here we have 800 as the seal to story height and the reveal to core should be here i'm setting 50 millimeters like that so with that let's click on ok let's move to the 3d window and take a look at that window that we are customizing so it's taking the shape that we want it to take back to settings dialog for the window and the window settings and opening i want the main search to be fixed glass side and mirror top is fixed top one top top uh, transform search one is fixed and two is fixed glass that's okay so that's frame with sash options under sash options click on this and choose hv grid 
you have main search with let's say vertically three like that let's say three three vertically two that's for the main search transform and the side ones are start click on ok preview in 3d so in 3d that's how the window looks like which is a better appearance you can still select it while you are in the 3d window open the settings dialog for that and you can choose to have the window seal in place click on this activate window board click to a window board in place selected as that and have casing to the outside then click ok and you will see the changes getting affected in the 3d window so that's it for 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 those windows we'll repeat the same process with windows in these other areas so like we have for the kitchen uh, select this have these ones as fixed glass uh, put in place a seal and a window board check to have the window board and check for outside casing and click ok so that's the window that we have in the kitchen area let's customize the last these two here in the lounge or dining area repeat the same so for that we said fixed glass fixed glass click on that arrow uh, search options hv grid have that as three then under seal choose to have a seal select that go to window board click on window board and then check to have outside casing and these ones are going to reflect on the plan as that so you'll repeat the same procedure with that window so like that and 2000 so with that i hope now you understand how to make more advanced customizations to the windows and the doors in archicad so let's meet in the next video where i show you how to put in place the various furniture and sanitary appliances for our house.